Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. As you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be another skincare experiment. You guys know I love doing these on my channel and if you've been with me for a while, you know I've posted so, so many um, acne and skincare videos, experiment trial type videos um, on my channel. So I've tried a lot of things and um, if you don't know, I do deal with cystic and nodule acne. And whatever acne it is that you may deal with, whether it be surface acne, hormonal, nodule, cystic, whatever it is, it's always going to uh, be something you may worry about and be something you might try to find a solution for. Now, there may be things that maybe fix the acne temporarily or completely fix it. And one of the things that a lot of us are left with is scarring. So right now, my skin's actually doing really, really good, even though it may not look like it. In the past few months, I've gotten a lot of cystic acne and it's been a long process to uh, take the inflammation down and try to get rid of it. Some things that have really helped me is just kind of stop wearing makeup and wearing products altogether. So I only really wear makeup for filming purposes now and then I kind of just let my skin breathe. But um, my skin's doing a lot better. I don't have any active acne right now to be honest with you. Everything that you see on my skin is actually scarring. So as I said I had a lot of cysts um, in the past a few weeks slash months in this area right here as well as around my mouth on my chin and I had one on my nose and that was like a really big one so now the scar is pretty deep but my skin feels great um, it's definitely doing a lot better but my skin scars so so easily so any little pimple that I get it's gonna scar from and obviously there's like a lot of skincare products you can use or you know LED or laser treatments that you can do that can help with scarring as well as like collagen boosts and everything like that so let's get into what this video experiment is all about I just had to give you guys that little backup story as regards my acne and the reason we're doing this experiment so I have the project e beauty uh, derma roller right here and I've worked with Project E Beauty many many times in the past um, I've tried their LED mask which I did a whole video on I'll link that down below I love that thing it's one of my like definite skincare secrets that has really helped my skin out um, I've tried their pore vacuum suction definitely an interesting product to try I also recently received this mirror from them um, this is their like travel LED mirror and let me just say I love this thing I've been using it every day now to do my makeup um, and it's really great at just um, providing light to do your makeup so I love this but anyways they make great skincare and um, kind of beauty products so I'm working with them once again and I like to do these test out videos so you guys can really see the progress because again when I work with companies these opinions are all my own I really want to test out the product and see if it actually works for me so that's why I like to do these long um, tests but anyways this is their derma roller and I've already taken it out of the box um, I have gotten a laser um, like uh, collagen renewing needle type treatment um, and I'll post some pictures on the screen so you guys can see what my skin looked after that so it's a similar process this obviously is a lot more um, less intense so that process was again a bunch of needles piercing your skin um, with an uh, with a laser treatment at the same time and that really really helped with my scarring because as I said a few years back I had really deep scarring right in this region that's kind of all cleared up now so I don't really have that scarring anymore and I owe it all to that treatment that was an amazing treatment and although my skin looked kind of crazy for a few days it really did help kind of build up my collagen level and kind of renew the top layer of my skin um, also if you guys are wondering why my eyes are so red and why I look kind of sick I'm not sick it's just um I did like a very colorful eye look today and it kind of stained my eyelids a little bit but if you guys are wondering so here is the derma roller now it is a plastic handle, just as Project E Beauty, and it is pretty narrow as well. And then it has a little grip for you to put your thumb there. So I'm just gonna do this on my hand. You can definitely feel the needles, but they're not too, too sharp. So let's get some information on this. So it says, do not use on wounded or irritated areas of the skin, especially active acne. So this is very, very important, and this is why I chose to start using this now. That I don't have any active cysts or anything like that on my skin, and if I start to develop some over the next few days, I'm not going to um, use this, obviously. And then it also says, do not wear makeup, sunblock lotion, or tanning lotion immediately after treatment. So a lot of people recommend they use this treatment at night so that um, you're not clogging your 
pores or anything like that. Then it says if you have sensitive skin, it is recommended that you use this only once a week. A lot of people also say that you can kind of build up your tolerance, so start with once a week if you have sensitive skin and kind of build it up to two or three times. All right, so then it says sterilize the roller with 75% alcohol before and after every treatment. Wash your face thoroughly. My face is already washed completely and all I have on it is some vitamin E gel cream. All right, so I just put some uh, rubbing alcohol in this cup and I just have my roller in there. It's obviously very important to sterilize this because since there are tiny needles and it might be poking your skin, you don't want any any bacteria or anything like that on this and obviously you want to clean it before and after. So just make sure I'm gonna let that soak for about five-ish minutes and then I'll be right back. Going back to the box, it says gently roll on the treatment area uh, four to eight times diagonally, vertically, and horizontally. Make sure to lift the roller with each pass. Roll in one direction, lift up, repeat. Okay. I heard online to start like in one direction first, so I'm gonna go in the vertical direction. You can definitely feel the needles, but it doesn't hurt if you're wondering. So it just feels like a little like, like a cat's licking you or something. But you want to be pretty gentle. You don't want it to hurt. And then on the nose, you're supposed to go right up. And then I'm going to go vertically on the face. And then I'm going to do it diagonally. This is just making sure that you're really getting everything. Because the needles are so small. When you kind of do these different cross sections. And it says you can apply your skincare now. Um, since I already put moisturizer on before, I'm not going to do that. Again, I'm not going to apply anything else because I don't want it to clog my pores or anything. My skin's a little bit red and it definitely feels a little bit more sensitive, but nothing drastic. So then it says do this three to five times a week and replace your roller after 10 to 15 treatments. So obviously, since um, my skin's pretty sensitive, I think I'm going to just do this twice a week. We'll see. I'm going to aim for twice a week, but if it's too sensitive, I'm going to do it once a week. And basically, this is going to really help produce new collagen and elastin so that it reduces the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, scars, or stretch marks. So really, really great tool, and it's kind of like a nice at-home easy thing to do. So I'm really excited to see if this works. So that's really it for today. I'm going to uh, sterilize this, and then I'll see you guys in a few days when we'll do the second treatment. Hey guys, so it has been um, just over a week, like a week and three days since um, the first check-in. And if you're wondering why my nose is so red, I just finished with my LED mask. This is also from Project Beauty. I did a video on this a while back um, and obviously I still use it now. It's one of my favorite beauty products and I haven't used it in a while. So I thought I'd use it today um, before I kind of do the um, derma rolling. As I said, I have done laser and... Um, like a uh, needle treatment before and that was like a laser needle combination so I thought why not do my LED mask today and then the derm roller and while I'm kind of talking I'm just soaking the roller in some rubbing alcohol so um it's been obviously a week and no um I only have one active um uh, pimple and it's right here the rest of my skin it's not active there's no cysts right now um, and even this one that I have is just a little one it's gonna clear up in a few days here it's definitely not a cyst um, but my scarring is actually doing pretty good as you can see in this region here it was pretty dark and prominent in the last checkup and now it's almost gone which is awesome it's still pretty dark over here now over the past week i did get two cysts right here and here now they are healed up so now they're just scars um and then also over here I got two more cysts right here and those are now healed up too. So perfect time for this video since you're not supposed to roll over active acne. So those kind of healed up uh, right before doing this. And um, even if they were still there, I obviously wouldn't roll over them. It's not good to, but I'm excited um, to hopefully use this roller to kind of clear up those scars and see how that works. But so far, I don't know if it's just, you know, 
these scars healed fast but my skin usually takes a while to heal from scarring and these scars over here did heal pretty fast so I don't know if um hopefully that does have something to do with the rolling obviously it was just my first time using it we're going to try it out today again and then more in the future and see from there all right so I do think it's ready to go now so I have my mirror here in front of me and I'm just gonna roll it as I did before so actually this time I'm gonna go in diagonals first This is probably the most sensitive part. Now on the forehead. I'm going to go sideways, so horizontally. And actually, I'm going to go out. So now I'm going to go down the face and vertical. And the reason I'm doing all three directions is, as the instructions state, you do want to get every part of your face. So. By doing it this way, you're really going to make sure the needle's got absolutely everything. And so now that the rolling's done, I'm going to put the roller back in alcohol and let that soak while I do my skincare routine. Because I just did the LED mask and because I just rolled, I want to make sure my skin um, is obviously moisturized, but it doesn't, you know, um, get red or anything. So I'm actually going to use 98% aloe vera gel. I love this stuff. I do have a natural aloe vera plant and I sometimes use that, but um, I'm just going to use some of this gel right now because I do actually really like this for on my skin and it's really nice for cooling, especially after you do more of an intense treatment like this one. So Taking this, putting it all over the face. This will cool down the face, moisturize, and do all that at the same time. But I like using this at night because it just kind of sits like a mask, like an overnight mask on your face. It's super natural, helps with acne and scarring. So kind of get the best of both worlds, healing, moisturizing, kind of has that cooling effect too. So it's really nice after you do a treatment. So this will kind of just rejuvenate the skin after that treatment. So yeah, that is it for this check-in um, and this derma rolling session. I will see you guys in a week. Hey guys, so I'm just in my bathroom now and it is currently week three of testing out a derm roller. So just give you a little update. My scars are actually lightening up pretty nicely on this side of my face. I have two um new um active cysts right now but the rest is doing pretty good and even these scars over here are lightening up slightly and the ones on my forehead last week they're a lot darker um so i'm pretty happy with how everything's looking it is lighting up nicely and i think the derm roller definitely has something to do with that so i'm happy about that i'm just gonna set you guys down and quickly rinse my skin So I already washed my face with face wash. I'm just uh, rinsing it with water real quick since I did do my LED mask and I just wanted to rinse with water real quick just kind of to refresh after that LED mask. And I'm just going to go vertically all over the skin. I do think this derm roller is actually doing something and I do think it is helping my scars heal faster. Then we're gonna go horizontal and then we're gonna go diagonally. I think this has also given my skin a little bit more light to it and a little bit more like elasticity too. So I'm really liking that. And I'm going to apply skincare products and I'm only gonna apply this um, aloe vera gel. I find this kind of heals the skin. And on the days that I derm roll, I don't like to apply any other skincare products. I don't want anything to clog the pores or react funny um, since we just, you know, like kind of opened up the skin by derm rolling. Um, I find the aloe gel heals my skin, gives me that moisture, so it's everything I really need. So as I said, this is week three. I will see you guys next week for the final check-in. Hey guys, so it is um, the end of the month, week four, and I'm back in my bathroom just because I do all my skincare stuff in here so i'm just gonna get real close to light here so you guys can take a look for yourselves my skin is doing um 
amazing. I feel like my scars are actually lightening up quite a bit. So I think this is really working and that this derm roller is actually building up the collagen in my skin. So my face is all washed and I was um, in the middle of doing my LED mask, but it died on me. This is the first time that mask has died on me since I got it, which was 11 months ago, so it's lasted a really long time without being charged. Anyways, I'm gonna get right into derm rolling, so I'm just gonna set you guys down. So I just finished soaking my derm roller in the alcohol, like you're supposed to do. I'm just gonna start horizontally. And now I'm just gonna go vertically. And then diagonally. All right, and now I'm just gonna put this back into the rubbing alcohol to disinfect. And just as a finishing touch after we derm rolled, I just went in with some aloe vera gel, just cause I like how this kind of cools down my skin, moisturizes and helps it heal. Um, and as you can see, my face did get a little bit red and that always kind of happens after I do the derm rolling. Um, but now I'm just going to go to bed and let my skin kind of um, heal from the treatment. So this is the final treatment of this video, but I'm actually going to see you guys tomorrow morning when I kind of do my last check-in and um, I talk about my thoughts on derm rolling. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Hey guys, so it is now the next morning and I'm here to do like the final check-in and the final kind of update on um, derm rolling and what I kind of thought of it. So I'm not wearing any makeup right now. And obviously a lot of the scarring is still there, like um, scarring is going to take a lot more than a month to heal. But as you guys can see, I feel like it's a lot lighter than where we started, which is something that really impressed me about this. I will say this whole month I did actually start working out as well. And I feel like the combination of working out and the derm roller has really been helping my skin kind of rejuvenate, build up collagen and just kind of help those scars go away. So I don't know if I mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but each derm roller you get um, has different needle sizing. So this specific one from Project E Beauty has a needle size of 0.25 millimeters, so it is fairly small, but you guys can like look up on Google, I'll actually post a picture right now. Um, you can like look at different sizings, but honestly guys, I found this product super, super useful. And I definitely think it's something I'm gonna incorporate into my skin routine just because not only was it just super easy to do, it's like a five minute treatment that you can do like once a week, twice a week, whatever your skin's comfortable with. Super easy to do at home and it's kind of going to give you those results over time. It's just going to be a little thing that you can add into your routine, do once or twice a week and it will over time um, improve your skin. And even if you don't have scarring, um, it's going to help just build up that collagen and stuff. It's going to help with wrinkles, texture, stretch marks, everything like that. So it's really going to help out your skin. I know people have mixed thoughts on derm rolling, but I want to try it out for myself and I do think this something that I'm going to continue to use to help out my acne scars. If you guys want to see like an update as I keep using this over time, I can do an update in like a few months or something, but let me know down below in the comments. So I highly recommend um, trying out a derm roller if you have acne scars or at least doing some research on it and seeing if it is a good um, product that you could start using and if it would be beneficial for your skin type or the situation you're kind of trying to fix with it. So I really liked this and I did like this one from Project E Beauty. You guys know I've worked with Project E Beauty so many times in the past and I do like them as a company. I think they make great quality skincare and kind of um, different type products. Like I love their LED mask and stuff like that. So I'll link all my skincare trial videos down below if you guys wanna watch more of these um, skin videos. And I also did post a video on my channel talking about the uh, Factora treatment I did, which is basically this and a laser, but like a super intense treatment where it's supposed to renew like the whole top layer of your skin. So I did a full video just the other day talking about my full experience with laser treatment and Fractora. So if you want to see that, I'll link that below as well. But yeah, my skin's actually doing really, really good right now and I love my results. And hopefully this derm roller, as I keep using it, will help out my scarring even more. But I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Please subscribe if you haven't already and also make sure to turn on my post notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload a new video. And yeah, guys, that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.